Hey everybody, this is Brandon here, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a custom block, uh, like this one on the screen here. It's a, a test pit block. I had a question on how to create a cross point with two of the four quarters filled in. Uh, this is what I call a test pit location, um, and it's used in geotechnical and surveying all the time. I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic block that you can uh, rotate as well as have the uh, attribute attached to it that asks you for the point number when you insert it. Really basic block, I'm not going to go over a lot of the dynam dynamic stuff which you can uh, kind of play around with or I'll post in another video in the future. I'm just going to show you how to create this block in under a couple minutes here. So first up we're going to draw our block. Uh, to do this, uh, typically I just use a scale that's going to be normal for your drawings. So I'm going to do a width for my rectangle of one. Uh, this could be one foot, one meter, uh, one inch. Uh, you'll be able to, you can scale your blocks, but I like to use units of one. Uh, so it makes it easier when inserting. So I've just clicked the rectangle button. I'm going to click or type in D for dimensions and I'm gonna, it asks me for my length I'm going to type in 1 and hit enter and the width I'm going to type 1 and then hit enter now it's going to ask me to place it I'm just going to click here and there I've got my rectangle or square I'm going to draw two polylines to indicate the uh, cross and that's up to you how big I'm going to go above the box 0.5 and draw a two meter long line go to the left 0.5 and then draw a two meter line that leaves half a meter sticking out in all the sides I'm going to type in hatch click solid and pick points I'm going to pick the two squares I want colored in and hit enter this is all quick and easy you can adjust the layers and stuff uh, in yours if you'd like uh, now I'm going to type in block you can type in B and enter as well. I'm going to name it TP Block. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, it's going to ask for the base point. I always choose the center here. Next, it's going to ask you what objects you'd like to include. So you select that little button, highlight all of your objects, and hit enter. You're going to select Convert to Block. Uh, you're going to select your units that you want it drawn in. Uh, I'm just going to use unitless, so it's one unit. Uh, scale uniformly, I like that. Um, you can use annotative. I'm not going to explain that today. Uh, I allow exploding just in case. And for description, you can call it test pit block, whatever you'd like. And I'm going to check open in block editor because I'm going to show you how to add an attribute really quickly. So I'm going to hit OK, and this is our new block. To add an attribute, which would be the, uh, the text, we're going to go up on the right here of your ribbon and click Attribute Definition. I'm going to leave everything default right now. I'm going to select the, the insertion point for the tag. I'm going to call it Label. Actually, I'll call it Test Pit Label. And for the prompt, this is what it asks you when you insert it. I'm going to call, ask what is your test pit name. My default is going to be test pit 01. doesn't matter what you use. Uh, for my text height, since it's about too high, I'm going to use 0.4 for my text height. You'll play with this depending on your standard text heights. Or use annotative text. Um, you can lock the position of where it is, you can use multiple lines, all that stuff. I'm going to leave it uh, just blank for right now, just because this is an example. I'm going to place it, and I'm going to place it right there. I like to keep them on the upper right. If you like left or bottom, that's up to you. And last, I'm going to show you how to make it so you can rotate your block here. So I'm going to go to Parameters, which is in your Block Authoring Palette and I'm going to select rotation. It's going to ask me for the base point. This is what you want to rotate around. I'm going to rotate around the center and I'm just going to drag it out here 
and keep and click and then it asks you for the default angle and I'm going to hit enter to keep it as zero. Now that you've added a parameter you can add an action which would be the rotate action. So select rotate and it asks you for your parameter down here. We're going to select the circle that we drew. That's the angle parameter. And now it's asking for your object. I'm just going to select everything here. Uh, the label won't be included when it rotates but I'm just selecting everything. Hit enter and there you go. If we close our block editor now, save the changes to test pit block, we can reinsert it. So I'm going to type I for insert, choose test pit block. I'm going to specify on screen, leave the scale as one. And there you have it. It asks you when you insert it. I just selected here to drop it there, but it asks me for my test pit name. I'm going to type in test pit 13 for 2013. Dash zero 01. It's the first one I did today. And there you go. You can select your block and rotate it using this little knob here in case your, uh, your drawing's at an angle for some reason. Um, you could also add a scale parameter if you want to be able to change the size of these on the fly. You'd use the exact same way. Uh, you'd use a polar XY parameter and then the scale action. But there you have it. That's how you create a quick and easy test pit symbol block. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and cheers. Have a good one. Hey everybody, Brandon here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to change the line thickness in AutoCAD. I got asked this a little while ago and there's a few ways that